In other news tonight, five years after the death of local Christian DJ Heath Jackson, his close friends and family say his legacy will forever live on in the Chattahoochee Valley. Our Tasha Reed talked with them earlier and filed this report. Because people knew of him, whether or not they knew him, they kind of just, you turn on the radio and you hear his voice or his name and you feel like we're friends. Heath will wrestle a chicken. I'm not going to wrestle a chicken. That was the voice people remember hearing of Heath Jackson on the radio on then 88.5 The Truth. Ian Allen met Jackson through church affiliations and mutual friends. He made sure to spread himself out and, and, and love on everybody and be friends with anybody he came into contact with. So just, just as a loving, God-fearing guy, that's who he was. I just was hearing about all these untimely deaths of these young people and um, I wanted to reach out to people, but I didn't really know how. His mother, Angie Idell, tells me he captivated the hearts of many with his music and his voice. She has started a support group for others who have lost a family member as well. I think the fear of a, of a parent is that their child will be forgotten. So, um, you know, I'm like, I'm not gonna let this happen, you know. But he has not been forgotten. Allen says Jackson was a huge Auburn fan, and these orange and blue bracelets are a reminder of his legacy. And so it's just a reminder, I think, to our community of the impact that he continues to have. Even though he's not physically here with us, the bracelet kind of carries on his legacy. His mom tells him people travel all over the world and send her back pictures with their bracelets on. Damon Free with PNB Broadcasting worked with Heath at the radio until his untimely passing. He tells me Jackson was a practical joker and he touched a lot of people. He left the community in better shape than, than he got it, which is what most people spend a lifetime trying to do. So it was very impressive that he was able to do so much with so little time. I'm just so grateful to have had him. Well, Jackson was shot and killed outside his Lake Bottom home during a home invasion in 2010. Ricardo Schroger pled guilty to his murder and is serving life in prison without parole. Other news.